Hi, this is John Carney with a how-to video for setting up your licensing for ORCAD X. Cadence and ORCAD use the FlexLM License Manager to control licenses. So when you are installing the software, the first decision you're going to have to make as an individual or a company is, are you running the license manager on your own machine? Or is your company going to have a license manager server that everybody points to? Or are you going to use the single user license scheme where we host the licenses and all you need to do is log into our license server with your email or password? This video is mostly going to be focusing on installing a local license server. So when you're running the software installation, you're going to be given a choice to connect to an existing license server or install a licensing server. I've already installed the license server, so I don't have this option. But if you were to be running it, you would get an option to install the license server. Or if you're not the license server, you'll connect to an existing license server. And then it's going to ask you to provide the name of the license server. So typically this is a value of 5280 at the name of the machine. So 5280 is basically the port. And then after the at sign is the machine name. Note you can have multiple license servers to point at. So in, in my example here I have, this is my local machine, and then these are other license servers on my Cadence network that I can point to. Once you set that up, this is actually going to add a Windows environment file variable called CDS license file. So if you were to go into your environment variables, I'm going to system properties, environment variables. You will then see you'll have a user variable and also a system variable called CDS license file. And it's going to have that exact same string. That's really how our software finds the license server. So when you fire up any application, it's going to find this Windows environment variable. It's going to find that server. It's then going to query that server to see what licenses you have available and give you a list of options to choose from. So you want to make sure this is the first thing to check when you are having a license problem is, is your CDS license file variable actually pointing at the correct server? If it was something like it was working and now it's not working and you haven't changed this, chances are something happened on the server side. But if this is the first time you're setting it up, this is something that you'll want to make sure is correct if you're debugging a new license issue. The second thing you're gonna to wanna to check out is the actual license file on the license manager. So when you or your company purchases products from Cadence, you're going to get a file called license.dat emailed to you, and this is going to contain all the products that your company has purchased. You're going to have a, a feature line for every product. You really don't have to read all these feature lines unless if you're a licensed admin and really need to get into it, but this is basically just gonna contain all these comment lines about every product you have and when they expire. But there are some details that you will need to look at in here if you are debugging. But the key point to note is when you install the license manager, the installer will ask you, where is the license file? You give it the license file and then the license manager installer will copy and put that license file into the Cadence license manager install folder. So wherever you install the license manager, you're going to have the license.dat file that the license manager is looking at when it's running. So if you've received this license file and you're still not able to check out licenses, one of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do to debug is open the license file and you want to verify that this host ID is correct. The host ID needs to be a physical address of the machine that is running the license manager. So if this is your computer, this would be your computer's data. If it's a license server, it would be the license server's data. And so the way that you can verify this is open a command prompt on the machine that is the license server and type in this command here, ipconfig space dash all. This is gonna return a bunch of information on all your ethernet and wireless adapters. And the main thing you want to confirm is that you're using one of these ethernet adapters for the host ID on your license server. So you want to make sure that that host ID 
corresponds to the host ID in your license.dat file. If those match, then those things are good. Then the next thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure is this server line is correct. This server line should say the name of the machine that is the license server. So in this case, this is my computer, so it's PC date dash J Carney 2, then a space, and then that address that I just told you to confirm, and then 5280, which is the port. This is just a port that Caden chooses. You should probably never change that. And then make sure this daemon line is still in there. And this points to the CDS LMD, which should be the directory of the license server. Those are really the only things that you should ever need to check or verify in this license file. Anything below this line, you should never need to mess with. If you do, you're probably going to break something. So it's really just a verification that this line is correct with respect to the physical address of your system. Now, if all that is correct, you can also go under the Cadence license installation and you can run LM tools. This is the Flex LM tools from Flexera. And this contains some diagnostics that you can run or you can look at. So you can first verify your system settings, make sure all this stuff looks accurate. Sometimes you may need to just simply stop the server, reread the license file and then start the server so you can press these buttons. Or if you're getting a new license file, you'd stop the server, replace the license file, reread the license server and then start it. This is also where you can go under server status and server diagnostics and you can run perform status inquiry and this will run a test to check to see is the license server up. If the license server is up, can it check out licenses? Depending on what you're pointing at, this can take a minute or two. Once that runs, you'll get a little status dialog down here telling you that as a matter of fact, the license server is up and everything appears to be good. So this is some other debugging stuff you can do. If you've done all those things, your licensing should work and should be fine. If it's not working at this point, that's probably a good time to contact Cadence, contact technical support of your reseller or whoever you purchased the software from and they can debug it further.